certainly Twitch chat has like, you know, helped me brew some decks together on stream, but I will try, try to say it's not ego. I feel like most of the credit goes to me, you know, I don't know. The mulligan. We're playing the mirror? No, we're not. Like Holy Diva put together Just Guy Blood Sun and Stork at the same time. Well, sure. I, I guess I just don't really get what your point is, Simon. I don't know. I guess I'm supposed to let them scry first. With Path and Bolt in hand, why didn't I want to shock in Foundry? Uh, I've kind of gotten the habit of not shocking super aggressively because of Scourge of the Skyclave. Not that my opponent is definitely... You know, we're in the blind here, of course. But just like with, with the with Scourge of the Skyclave, I've just been in the habit of not... Uh, oh my gosh. Awesome. I, I've been in the habit of not uh, uh, shocking aggressively. Just like make, make them get your life total below 20. And we did just play against a Scourge deck that wasn't playing Luris. Although, like it's possible against Luris, you're not supposed to... Hey, you're only supposed to do that against Luris. I'm not sure. So I'm not, I'm not saying I was right, it's just like the habit I'm in. My point was that ascribing any deck's creation to one person is futile exercise. I I, I, I agree to some extent, although it's like... I, I agree that it's just like super tedious to, to, to keep up with, and is it is really doesn't matter very much, right? Because once it, like nobody owns a deck, like I don't own any deck that I've made. But... But I, I also have made a lot of decks, and I've made, like, a lot of them on stream. I've made a lot of them on stream, and I don't know. I, I feel like, I, I don't know. I, I'm just very proud of my, my work this last year, so I, I think that I am going to continue to say that I've made these decks. But I, just, I kind of understand your perspective. Dude, my opponent's deck is awesome. Tedious is this conversation. I agree, Grogu. Gonna minus on the Ascension. And then probably want to leave back the Shark to block a Phoenix. Sure, always drawing cards. And I, I do make an effort to like shout out Kotal for like Tails End pretty often, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's just change subjects, I think. They do have a Phoenix in the yard. It's like our second time playing against Phoenix in the last two weeks. Okay. And they get to kill my Teferi and my Shark. Probably not clicking this Lotus Field. Let's just, uh, we could hard cast. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna make a 4-4 four, four Shark here. 4-4 four, four Shark seems great on this board, and I'm gonna do it now so we can maybe find a land to play. Okay. I did find a land to play. I, haven't, I don't know that I've seen too many strategic plannings in this list, but it's cool that it that works well with both their Ascension and their Phoenixes. I used to play a list like this that played Baral. I wonder if they're playing Baral. Like, Reman was also really good in this list, but Reman's like maybe a little awkward with Stormwing Entity. They haven't found a second Phoenix. We did Path once, so they only have two left in the deck. They're attacking. Uh, so I think I'm just not gonna block. Like, we have a Bolt in our yard. We can, we can race, and like, they very clearly have a Bolt now, or something. This could also be a bluff, I suppose. I think we're also doing fine against a bluff. We have six points of damage, and they're going to seven. 
Is there a way to share an MTG online through Discord? Uh, you can stream uh, your screen to Discord if that's what you're asking. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like they've run into a poor matchup here. <laughs> we have a ton of great cards against them. Probably don't want these guests. In fact, I don't even. I also don't think we want fours because we have we have so many answers to ascension. I don't think we need them. I'll keep in the wildfires in case they have moon. Probably trim like a cryptic command. Also, I hate to jinx it. But we are nearing the time that my stream has crashed the last two days, and I have a technician coming out today. Um, but like the last two days, my internet has cut out for like 10 minutes, and we've called the stream early. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen today, but fair warning. If it happens, I'll try to come back. Yeah, I don't think you want to braid. It's like, it's like definitely your worst removal spell, and we, you know... Yeah, we're trying a league out with Teferi Master of Time. The card, the card I think is is better than Jace if you don't play fetch lands. But that's 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 more so to the fact that Jace is better with fetch lands than like necessarily how good Teferi is. But I think I played with Teferi and Modern in the past and haven't been. I, I've been like pleasantly surprised with them, and I think that it makes sense to try it. Narset's quite good against them. Yeah, these are these are blue light glasses, Jalen, because my eyes are bothering me. It's good to see you in chat, buddy. What's everyone's favorite Disney movie? Uh probably Spider Man Far From Home. I love Spider Man Far From Home. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as a Disney movie. I guess I guess Revenge of the Sith is or sorry, Empire Strikes Back is my favorite Disney movie. <laughs> Also don't know if that counts. I did have a good holiday, Nate. Thanks for checking in. Toy Story isn't close as Fran. Toy Story is good. And that's definitely, so like that's a Pixar movie. Does that, that should probably count as Disney too. All I wanna do is talk about the semantics of what is and isn't a Disney movie instead of actually give my opinion. If we're talking about like old school animation, like mine's Mulan, I think. I really like Milan. I'm trying to think, I can't really think of any like old school Disney animated movie that I I would like as much. Although there might be one. Uh, I think I'm just gonna not minus Narset. Narset's so good against them. Pixar is part of Disney, yeah. But I mean, like, what isn't a part of Disney? You know, I feel like when people say Disney movie, they think of uh, just like animated Disney movies specifically. But again, I, like every Magic player who's ever lived, am only obsessed with semantics, not actually what you mean. Lewis, thank you for the stream. Our bits are definitely still a thing. Thank you for the cheer. I remember I was really high on Star Bridges before. Yeah, I was. Um, a big part, I think, of the reason why I am down to cut the Star Visions is that that was like the, when I added them I wasn't playing the Valkyrie Awakenings yet and I feel like the Awakenings kind of facilitate part of you know facilitate kind of the same thing and uh and like part of the reason why I was like really high on these Sarah Visions like man I really need to find Blood Sun every game but now I'm just playing four Blood Suns and I'm feeling pretty good about it All right, I'm gonna hope to find a Purge we did now, I think I'd rather get my Blood Sun Pierce than the Purge. Can I ex please explain to Wow, that's some spicy tech perk. Yeah, you, in, you, you can uh, put your pet card in the chat after redeeming Wow, that's some spicy tech, and then I'll tell you that your pet card or whatever card you want me to say is good. I'll just say that it's good. I did have the bolt. We have a second Narset now. And their fetch lands are turned off, which is nice. They have another Ascension. They are playing Blood Moon. I 
Alright, I think I'm going to put back... Lightning Bolt, Settle the Wreckage, Narset. I know the Narset's so good against them, but we just need to get out from under the moon. Now I'll play Lotus Field, and I think I'll just main phase this Awakening before my opponent can disrupt me. I think I will also keep Path. Path is like pretty good against them. These Awakenings are so good, too. But two more Purges. We also have Snapcaster for Purge. Okay, there we go. And we found the second island. What's the most devastating spell you've had an opponent cast into an onboard Narset? It's a good question. Like people have definitely, I, I and my opponents have both, you know, played into Narset a millions of times since War of the Spark came out. I don't, I don't know if I have a, a good story for you, but uh, there's definitely been a few. Yeah, obviously we'd like to have Narsa in the hand, but I just don't feel like we had the luxury. Do I play the island first to play around like Dispute? <sighs> or Surgical Extraction? Damn it. They put two cards on top with Stormwing. Yeah, I did not play very well around Surgical. I mean, we're, we're in okay shape. Every card in our hand is castable. I am just going to cycle the Blood Sun and then upkeep path? Don't really want to give them a second blue on their turn. Yeah, yeah, playing play the second island was certainly correct. But, my, but we're, we're, yeah, we're here now, you know what I mean? We did, we did not play around it, so just moving on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, the, the, it's, it's also pretty bad, like... I know that there's definitely chat lag, which is most of it, but when I, I'm like, yeah, this was wrong, and then chat's like, wasn't it right to do this? <laughs> and so hopefully we can mess with their scry. And if they have a counter spell, then like they should be tapped out of blue at least, and we can maybe snap past the storm wing. We have a pretty high life total. Can up up this uh, hard cast shark counter maybe. Go hard cast shark into hard cast shark. Although cycling, it's maybe better. Yo, bolster. What's up? It's me, your friend, aspiring Spike. Chess, thanks for gifting that sub. Gross. Actually, just, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? It wasn't sus, they saw the other surgical from the, they saw one shark typhoon from the other surgical. Then we just happened to draw the other one. This happened to me last time I played against uh, Phoenix too. They like they had like a really good surgical extraction last time too. I think we're not even that far behind. I think it's worth the two damage here to path now, especially when they only have two cards in hand. And we're gonna path anyways because they put a card on top. Yeah, yeah, we have, we have tons of good top decks here. We had we had our we had shark typhoon surgical then we had two sur shark typhoons in our hand, we also got our uh, our, our celestial purge uh, surgical earlier, the whole these for Valakid awakening. Not gonna attack. It's fine. We're just playing through blood moon. What's up? It's me, your friend, aspiring Spike. Yeah, we've got so many good draws. Man, Falcon Awakening just puts in so much work. I did actually, I, I'm down to three because I'm playing it to Fairy Master of Time now, although I feel like they do pretty similar things. But maybe we maybe we do need like five of this effect. Okay, Narset's quite good. Um, Am I gonna minus Narset? I guess it just is, I, I didn't realize that they were playing four, so I didn't really put them on it. 
I'm gonna bolt the Phoenix and attack for four. We can cast this cryptic command if we untap both islands with Teferi, but it won't be like a very good cryptic command, of course. Card on the bottom with Opt. It's pretty likely they can bring this back, right? Hmm? Awesome. Dude, Blood Sun Cycling is so nice. Where's our Force of Vigor? The problem with Force of Vigor is we don't play green cards. But of course it would be really good if we were. What's Awakening's average case? Uh, I mean the floor in Awakening is, not, is pretty high because you just play it as a land. Uh, but awa Awakening is consistently very good. Um, I've been really liking the Awakenings. They put two cards on top, so I gotta imagine a Phoenix coming back next turn. But they're also probably going to one. And they're we can we can pick up Snapcaster with this cryptic. Then we have Snap Bolt, but I don't we don't have enough blue to snap bolt this turn. Yeah, Phoenix making a comeback is really neat. I like it. I guess they could have another counter spell. They like are kind of likely to even, I think. But we're lucky that they don't have it. Nice to get to like cast Cryptic Command through a Blood Moon with only two basic lands in your deck. It's kind of a neat feeling. And they can't even Surgical Extraction me because they are up to one life. Can they kill us? Maybe. They have three Phoenixes in their yard all of a sudden. Be pretty pretty unreal for them to kill us here. Puss says GG's. Call the GG's, but not for me. Let's keep this. I'd love for this blood sun to resolve. Not sure what's going on over there. So Blood Sun is very good against Ren and Six. I think I need to force anyways. But felt kind of close. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Bofer, three months in a row. Any chance we'll see some blue white stone blade action sometime soon? I hope so. It, I, I kind of want to play some Bant Stone Blade. Um, I think Bant is maybe better than Blue-White at the moment. Bant's been putting up some results. But I'm not sure. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Awesome and resolved. Such a good feeling. And then Trey G, second month in a row. Do you love to see that second month? Thanks, you, thank you, buddy. Welcome back. Cycles Triumph main phase. Golly, hand must be really bad. When I play a two mana Blood Sun uh, without a draw a card attached to it over Blood Sun, I, I may play the, this theoretical, you know, card over some number of Blood Sun, but I, I, I may play a split. Two mana Blood Sun would be really good, I think, in this deck. I might do like. 3-2 split in favor of this non-existent 2-mana card. I guess we'll just hold a double cryptic command. Yeah, then we can cast. We can cycle the wildfire next turn. It's just, I just always love when uh, <laughs> the deck works. Uh, maybe I can turn down my desktop audio a bit. It's not on max volume. Usually I hear a lot of complaints when things are too loud, so it may just be on your end. How could I do this to the poor Uro player? I'm supposed to let that remand resolve, I don't know. It's kind of down to double cryptic. Poor Uro player. I felt bad doing that. Like Needle against the Ren and Six deck. 
What else is Needle gonna hit? I guess you just name it Fetch Land. Kind of down to cut the Wildfires for like two gusts too. Wildfire on the draw is also kind of worse too. Yeah, they're just trying to play their pet card. We're being so mean to them. Let's keep this. Am I supposed to just like turn one needle ridden six? No, I did bring in gusts, I thought. I brought in two gusts. I don't think you want three. What's four mana Teferi for? I think four mana Teferi is a decent magic card. As uh, and it's better than Jace when you're not playing fetch lands. I think I've pl I've played I've played both before. You know a bunch. Um, but we, we we've been flooding out a lot, and Teferi Master of Time also like definitely makes sure that you don't mana flood. So there's also value there. Got the two lander. Did draw Trium. Are we just supposed to like snipe a fetch land? I'm not sure. Feels. I feel like because we have to like tap out of Tails in to do so, I'm just not gonna. Is that Athena? Hold on. I hear Athena. I don't know where Esther is, but nobody was paying attention to Athena. I think she needs to go outside. Athena, tell us what you need. I'm gonna cryptic this, I think. I suppose it's pretty bad if they the Veil of Bummer. Yeah, not, not too worried about the force there. Did I grow some serious beard in the last couple of days? No, it's been this length the whole time. People say that randomly, they just like don't remember that I have a beard. It's always kind of funny. It's like maybe a little bit longer than it usually is, but certainly not drastically. They're pretty close to turning this on. We do, where are our Blood Sun deck? What's Athena's favorite modern deck? Yogmoth, because it plays Young Wolf. For sure. If we had Needled Scalding Tarn, it would have worked out so well for us. Am I gonna Tails in the Scalding Tarn? I probably am. Ooh. We can't protect our Blood Sun with Force of Negation, which is a big problem. Athena's decided to lay down instead of go OUT, which is good for me. Good RNG. Yeah, I answered the question because I know. She tells me all the time. Ready for your deck tech whenever you want, MC. So do I want to play this needle out? Could they Misty Rainforest? Mm, they might not play Misty Rainforest. Doesn't fetch mountains. I would love for them to counter this. They're going to draw two. Don't love that. Yeah, I think we need to force that. Blood Sun uh, does turn off Flagstone's abilities, but like it's not that hard to play around that downside. We, are, we already have a Needle naming Renin 6, so... Not too, super into naming Renin 6. I mana leak my force. Mm. They draw two. Can they Jace the Mind Sculptor? Let me do that. They might not play it. <laughs> I feel like they, they might have a couple. They get to scape shift with a uh, charm up. Yeah, okay. We know they have Archmage's charm in their hand, so I'm just gonna go to game three. Yeah. 
Think on the play, we don't need as many needles. Just play the third gust. It's way easier to answer Ren on the uh, play. As escape is not an activated ability. Although I thought it was at first. I thought you could like respond to it with Graveyard Hate. I wonder if you could have templated it like that. Would have made things a bit more balanced, I think. Should have named Scape Shift with Pithic Needle. Iron's pretty good. <laughs> Not naming Tibbet was a punt, probably, yeah. Pretty happy, I think, to Tails in this turn. They go land, Rin and Six. We probably force a negation. Pitching something. Maybe we would pitch to fairy. Is that crazy? Okay, they're just being wise and playing around another tail's end. Um, yeah, we have snap tail's end or typhoon up, so I don't think we're supposed to jam the sun yet. The sun is so good in this matchup. Also, if we draw like mystical dispute to resolve the sun, I'm feeling really happy. All right, now I think we just jam the sun, because we have two. Could just resolve, probably not though. Cool. Um, so I think because we have this flagstones, we are supposed to play the field, but I probably wouldn't play the field in this spot if I didn't have the flagstones. Pet Athena, so good. Esther usually opens my office door when she leaves, so I'm surprised she didn't this time. Sanctuary Charm. I, I've, I've definitely named Pithy Needle with Pithy Needle before. It was a brain fart. Oh, thank you. Let me uh, open that up. Soul Herder, awesome. Give me a second. And Blood Sun Resolved, we're living our best life. Um, so I have played Four Color Soul Rider recently. I see that you have changed a few things. Let me take a look at your changes. I do like the main deck champion. Um, I think I still, I think you want eight, eight man, one mana mana dorks, but seven is fine. I kind of think that the fourth hierarch is better than the second, the third growth, but I also haven't played a ton with abundant growth, and maybe I'm undervaluing, uh, evaluating it. I, I also don't love the main deck idol on of rhetoric. I, I have preferred that card to be in the sideboard. I also do like four main deck skyclave apparition, so like maybe that's a swap I would make right there. I also haven't been playing a ton of Uros. I, I definitely think that you need at least one Omnath. I'll tell you that. Uh, so maybe cut the third Uro for this. The uh, first Omnath. I'm also not a big fan of Lavinia, especially like the third five drop feels like it's a lot. Um, I I also feel like Stonehorn Dignitary is probably just a sideboard card um, rather than a main board card, but I, I I don't hate I don't hate mainboarding one if it's like if you feel like it's particularly good in this meta, you you might be right and uh, you know more power to you for sure. Um, I feel like. I don't need to tap out for anything here. How likely are we to win the fight? Not like not that likely. Maybe we'll just bait with this. It'd be just totally fine if they counter it. Just not fight over it. Yeah, I I I tend to like to build my decks like with like more tutor targets in the sideboard. Interesting. You're gonna draw two. More tutor targets in the sideboard and then in the main board. Like just like the more generically good, generically good cards. Like I don't think you need Aether Gust in your sideboard. Um, I don't think you need this like one of Ashok that you can't tutor for. I don't think you need the disputes. And if, if you look at my stream deck or if you type exclamation point deck, you can like dig back a little bit to see the last time I played this list, which was not that long ago. And you know you can see you can see like what I how I built this recently for like exactly how I would how I would build it, but. There's also just like little tidbits if you just want to change a few things. 
And it was specifically asking about beating Titan. Okay, I see. So against Titan, I feel like Titan's not even. I feel like it's not that bad of a matchup. Um, do you have a Magus of the Moon in your sideboard? You do, and the Aven Mind Sensor. I personally don't feel like I haven't had that hard a time with Titan. Just like with the main deck Riders and like the Kiki combo is pretty good against them. It, but like you are playing all the cards I play against the Titan matchup, which is like the Mind Sensor and Magus and Avalanche Riders. But you're also playing, you're also playing, you know, even more with like the Aether Gust and the Ashiok. So I, I feel like if you want to be Titan for this deck, you probably want to play more Ashioks, especially because you can turn to it. That is a big deal. Uh, as compared to, let's see if we find like Tails in. I don't think we are too worried about this. Yeah, I think I think you would probably play more Ashox than Aethergust if you're really worried about Titan. But I also don't feel like your matchup's that bad. Maybe you've ran poorly, or there there could be something about the matchup you're misevaluating potentially. It's happened sometimes. In, in modern Jalen, you can you can play four colors. That, that that deck is is really four colors. Although like, it you certainly are taking a cost to do so. It's not impossible. So I'm gonna probably want to gust this arrow. So maybe I'll just like put back the second force. Attack with my shark and pass. I'm gonna fight over this on their upkeep. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying out one Master of Times. The first time we've cast it in this deck. Kind of into it. But it says they didn't read the card and they let it resolve. It's funny. They can't crack their Misty Rainforest. And even if we lose this fight, we can just minus Teferi. Yeah. What did they do with Uro? They put it on the bottom. Play Steam Vince untapped. We have Aether Gust up here, so even if they like cryptic if they got cryptic command my blood sun plus cast scape shift, we still have Aether Gust for Scape Shift. So I don't think I'm supposed to do anything about that. That does look like exactly what they have. I don't have Snap Gust up though. Or sorry, I don't have Snap Gust up plus this Gust. Sacrifice, I do not believe Uro is sacrificed when it phases in. I may be wrong. Uh, Teferi seems decent so far. It's our only first time casting it. Let's see if they have like, they, 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 we can pay for Dispute. They, they actually have to have like exactly Dispel or Fluster Storm to succeed here. They can fetch now that the Blood Sun is gone. After Fitchy match, I know this worst matchup seem to be Titan and the Prowess decks, Decky Moon. It's interesting. I really, I, I, I remember, I was playing the deck a lot a while ago, and I feel like my Titan matchups weren't that bad, but I could be misremembering. Uh, that definitely is possible. So I want to keep my land so I can play Teferi here of Dominaria. But if they force... Probably need to fight over this. I have two cards and... Yeah. yeah. 2 0 in this league. I'm gonna keep this, I think. It's obviously like a little loose. Need some. I mean, it just draws a Lotus Field that we get to accelerate. We like 1 3 the last league, I think. Maybe it was 1 yeah, 1 3 drop. I just like, I was doing so well with this deck. When I first brewed it, and it's it's been performing worse, and so I made a lot of changes today. And it's possible I've made like too many changes. I'm not sure. Hunter, I thought we played. Uh, I thought we played the Delver deck last week. Were you not there for it? The Thunderous Wrath Delver deck that was yours. We played it last uh, Thursday. Neonate. 
I don't think I'm bolting Neonate. I don't I don't know if Storm kind of appears if someone has Fluster Storm necessarily. You thought Lester if it was when it was Donut? Uh, maybe I told you that, but it, it ended up not being the case. But I, I, I did play it last Thursday. I feel bad. Uh, I thought you were in chat too. I must have misremembered. Let me think about how I want to remedy this situation. Do I ever stream Legacy? Uh, for, I streamed some Legacy yesterday, actually. Uh, I do from time to time, yeah. Fact, I have the best finish of anyone who's ever played Legacy at a PT. What do I want to do here? I don't think I wanted to Tails end this. I don't really want to bolt this. I'm just going to untap. Okay. Weird. Neonate is not a vampire, but they are playing it to discard so they can recur things with Thunderkin Awakener. In fact, I actually brewed up a Elementals deck like this. Kind of recently. I mean, this was a long time ago. This was like August of 2019, maybe. I, ha I played this deck with Faithless Looting before it was banned, but what's really, this is a Shaman and Elemental kind of crossover tribal deck, and, it, and it's cool because Rage Forger and, Th and Flame Can Harbor are both Elementals and Shamans, so there's some overlap in the tribes. And a lot of your Shamans uh, discard cards, so they discard your Elemental Vinge Vines, they discard your Elemental Skelementals, and which has some synergy with Thunderkin Awakener, and Burning Tree Emissary has synergy with Vinge Vine. Uh, and I thought this deck was pretty cool, it wasn't very good. But I liked it. It was like really fun to play. It just like it just like honestly like it needs a better one drop, a better discard outlet than Neonate, and like it felt pretty good when looting was around, but uh, not uh, as good as like other faithless looting decks, of course. Um, am I gonna tails in this Risen Reef? I think I am. I just bolt it. I, I really like the deck. I think it was like a, a Dono deck, if I remember correctly. And we can't bolt snap bolts. We can path snap path. Path snap path is a lot more mana efficient. Wait, why did I drop to 200 viewers? What happened there? Sometimes the Twitch numbers are weird, I guess. Yeah, ramping them is bad for us, but also like using our mana super inefficiently this turn by just casting a lightning bolt is pretty bad for us too. Just kind of like a lose-lose scenario. Oh, sorry, I missed your deck tech deft. Yeah, people hated the Elementals deck, so they all left. So I, I would be playing uh, probably four Thoughtsies, honestly. There's just like so many good four drops. Like the fact that Inquisition can't take prime time, just, I'd probably be playing four Thoughtsies, three Inquisition. Um, I also feel like you have too many two mana removal spells. Maybe just too many removal spells in general. Just like, oh wait, you're not playing any fatal push. Yeah, I would. I would be playing uh, certainly some amount of fatal push. Uh, definitely like any number of push over thirst. I think. So maybe like, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what you've cut for these. I might not play Bone Crusher Giant. I haven't seen too many Bone Crushers flying around, um, but I do like I do like three Liliana, two Chandra. I do like um, three Kroxa, four Chandler, four Spyro. 
I probably would not main deck Angras Rampage or Terminate and then maybe just play four push, two Dreadbore, three bolts. Maybe four push, two bolts. One Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, I think I like that. Four push, two bolt, no thirst, no rampage, no terminate. Um, in the main at least. I'm also like not sure that I love the the that Mardu Triome. I, I know it's I know it's popular, but I'm not sure that I love the Mardu Triome as like just a way to turn on explosives. Just doesn't seem like I've seen people do it and it just doesn't really look good. Cyborg does seem fine. Um, Angrath is probably busted, honestly. You might need more. I guess you have four main deck blood moons. You don't need more Titan hate. All right, those are my thoughts. I know a little disjointed, but the the instant speed on on push matters so much. It's it really is a big deal. What's a Namba with Moon? The Trium. Oh dang it! I did not mean to target Tail's End. I thought I had a bolt in my yard. Oops. Not playing push because you're playing Moon. Yeah, I I don't I don't think that that's a big deal. Oh, man, we're so behind here. Yeah, I didn't mean to tails in this reef trigger. I meant I meant to bolt. I thought I had a bolt in my yard, and I was just completely wrong. I don't know how I messed that up. But I don't think we're gonna be able to beat this card disadvantage. I'm just thinking just one of. 4.3a. These decks do usually play Aether Vial. All right, I won't. I won't say any spoilers, Hunter. I feel bad. I feel like I need to do something uh, to compensate you. Just trying to think of what I can do to make it up to you because I, I feel bad that there is that miscommunication. No chance they play Vile. Every every elemental list I've seen has played Vile. So I, saying no chance is kind of wild to me. Uh, Purge is probably fine. I feel like Gust is good too. Do I think Jessica can near here? He can still be playable in modern. Um, probably not in the form that it once was, but maybe he can. He can have some interesting tech. All right, Hunter, how about this? I owe you a favor. How's th how's that? I owe you one, one something to be redeemed at the time of your choice. Now I think Typhoon is actually pretty good against them. If I don't have a column already, you might just start flagging down as I plan to watch on this date. If they said that, that's probably good. Um, yeah, the de the demand's been pretty high, and I've been you know maybe struggling a bit to keep up with it. Um, Well, I already, I already gave you a favor B underscore sent by uh, pronouncing your underscore like half the time. Yeah, but I, I don't know that I've ever seen the Elementals deck without Vile. I'd say it's like very likely they play it. <laughs> I actually don't know if I could, I don't think I can, I can't give people channel points. <laughs> If I could, I would. No, yeah, no chance they play Vile, says chat. <laughs> I see no Vile in play. Was I wrong? <laughs> yes, you were wrong. <laughs> That's fine. Not everything in life is about... <laughs> Being right, we got a good time for a pet Athena. Um, my hand's pretty good, I think. I don't know if I want Awakening. I think I'll Awakening away the Cryptic Command. Yeah, I did Valakid Awakening, I just drew another one. It's funny. Okay. Yes. 
She was so upset that. Oh no. Now I'm upset. Jeez. I guess we just kind of priced the main phase bolting. Here you go. Why don't you get me food before I left? That was nice of you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Is Graveyard Hate good against opponent's deck? Um, it's relevant. I feel like it can pretty easily beat Graveyard Hate, so... Kind of. I'm blocked. Uh-oh. Hmm. I probably have to cycle Typhoon for zero. Oh, maybe I can just make a 2 2 and ambush and get hit for 6. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like we're going to lose. It's an interesting matchup, maybe. Elementals is definitely cool. Yeah, I don't feel like we can sit on the Typhoon here, sadly. It's pretty good. Although... My opponent does just have Awakener. The last time we played this matchup, we had the Madcap Experiment plan in our sideboard, and our opponent uh, timed out. Because they just, like... I... <sighs> They just they were they're drawing their whole deck and they couldn't answer both uh, Imperions. Mm. Their deck is incredibly soft to play good engineer. It's uh, they they can usually tutor for this card, Spite Bellows. They can tutor for that sometimes, but like the damage is oftentimes already done. It's like, yeah, their deck is very soft to Plague Engineer. Yeah, I've seen it's Fluffy Wolf's uh, best Spurlark reanimator deck. It's kind of interesting. I feel like just so many things need to go right, though. It doesn't seem very consistent, but it seems good. Use best Spurlark to copy, or to get back Body Double, to get back Iona El Elishnorn. Hmm. So we're dead, unless we. Yeah, we can we can chump lock the skeletal, but I'll try to draw lightning bolt or path. Easy as that. <clears throat> we continue to fight on. Yeah, yeah. I I also like the madcap package. You know, I have been. I think I think I've been losing more since I cut it. So maybe I should just put it back in, huh? This creature can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Well, have I got the answer for that? Yeah, especially if we're just picking up the deck. I agree. I agree that just picking up the deck is... Uh, I would recommend the Mad Cat package. We're drawing Typhoon into Path into Typhoon, just pretty sick. Into cryptic. Yeah, and the fact that I'm not playing Madcap will make your Madcaps better, so you're welcome. Yeah, I feel like Helix Helix is just so hard to play in this deck. Maybe, maybe I'm over, uh, you know, overstating how hard it is. Honestly. With our luck. 
We'll probably draw Lotus Field off of Blood Sun, but I'm not going to push it. It's also pretty good if they draw a Sea Elemental. We can just tap draw, then the Sea Elemental gets sacked. You know, they have Caverns, so the Cryptic isn't doing a ton. Welcome, Spikelings. To Averroes, the dude. Food. 11 months in a row. Consider my life has take, been taken over by Hades Hell. I'm glad that you're enjoying it, dude. I've been watching when I can. But I, I knew that you'd enjoy it, so I, so I'm, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you finally picked it up. Do I feel like the Madcap package is worse than an F and a meta where people will eventually learn that it's coming? Yeah, although it's like also like maybe better in some ways since you can like juke people a bit, you know, where like they know that you have access to it and then you can just not play it one week and then play it the next be interesting all right um i'm just bouncing that drawing a card pretty scary though we didn't even draw the lotus field so unlucky now oh, we've been drawing incredibly well this game i like just thought about even conceding for time maybe our luck is running out Hopefully not. <laughs> Easy. So hopefully my opponent didn't draw another Skelemental or Awakener. I don't think we're supposed to play around it. I think we're just supposed to try to race them. Especially because they're dead to another Bolt. Hell yeah. We live, I think we're going to live to fight another turn at least. Dude, this game has been so good. And we drew a Gust. I could not believe we won this game. We were so behind. My opponent also has not drawn very well at all after having a good start. But it's a crazy comeback. Hell yeah. That was a good game. I probably just want the third Purge. I think I undervalued how good the card was in this matchup. We just played like one needle. I'm gonna keep this, I think. That's pretty good if it draws Lotus Field. Like really good, I think. I hope. Oh, sorry, Athena. I get a new fork now. Could also, I can also just eat off the knife. That's probably a good way to get into a um, viral video. Well, it's chicken and rice. Hard to eat chicken and rice with your hands. just can't allow Risen Reef to live, right? Yeah. Probably supposed to let them cast a spell first, actually. I don't know. Well, maybe it's, maybe you can eat chicken and rice with your hands, but I would feel self-conscious in front of uh, the chat, you know. Bad, 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 bad. I'd be blushing constantly. It's not a good place to be. Yeah, just purge like you know, purge is good against the aggro half of the deck and like bad like bad against this half. And we people ask me about elementals a lot, and I, I like the elementals deck. I think it's very powerful. But it's but the biggest problem though is like it is it like it has good mid range draws with these cards, it has good aggro draws with Thunderkin Awakener, and oh boy. It has good aggro draws with Thunderkin Awakener and uh Skelemental, and then but the overlap on those like two plans is not there's not a huge overlap i don't want this cryptic oh boy and so and so it's like sometimes like your mid-range and your aggro draws they kind of like 
can be they can be a little awkward together. It's not like a huge deal, but it, it I think it's like the biggest thing hurting the deck. Um, and so like if they print a, like a card or two that like makes the elementals deck like a really good mid range deck, or a really good aggro deck, then I could see things changing. We if we draw a hero of dominaria, we can go hero into nexus. Be pretty good. Uh, I've not tried Expansion Explosion Driven. I, I think that it's really hard to sell me on, like, mana sinks that aren't Shark Typhoon or Nexus. They just seem so much better than, like, Sphinx's Rev or any of the other options, really. Do I want a Nexus here? I think no. Because we're going to get to make, a, like, a reasonably sized Shark here. I'd rather maybe Nexus with, like, a shark to attack, at least. You can also draw, like, Teferi into Nexus is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just like, I don't know. If, if, this, if, like, this, if the whole deck worked with Thunderkin Awakener, the deck would just be so absurd, you know? Uh, but, like, you also, like, sometimes, like, a lot of times you're just counting on your cards to die for Thunderkin Awakener. And against non-interactive decks, that isn't a good plan. So you have to play cards like uh, Insolent Neonate, which doesn't work well with Risen Reef. And I, I'm not—I'm not saying the deck is bad. I'm just saying that like these are the tensions, and there don't there doesn't seem to be like a clear way to build the deck to like keep the power level, but also just just be a mid-range deck or just be an aggro deck. Um, also. I like I think you like I, I you know and I attempted to build like a more aggressive version of the deck here with like rage forgers and burning trees and this deck is underpowered compared to this elemental deck. And so there's just a lot of tension. It's pretty interesting to me. These are my thoughts. I'm not sure that this is a blowout. My opponent gets like they get a 7/7. Seven, seven, they've got six cards in their hand. It's you know, we're doing okay. Can I stop casually talking about the deck while dunking on this poor person? I don't feel like I'm dunking on my opponent. My opponent has now eight cards in their hand. This game is not over. All right. Well, it was briefly a 7-7. I don't know. This game is not over. We're playing Magic. Although Cavern is pretty bad against Bloodstone. And you know, they can't cack their islands. Maybe we are dunking on them. Who knows? Yeah, the deck is also pretty soft to Blood Moon is a problem. It's like like decks that are soft to Blood Moon, like our deck, is certainly a liability right now. Yeah, and you can also play like Omnaths, and like maybe there's oh we drew the Teferi. Okay. I now officially changed my stance. We are we are dunking on them. Welcome, Spikelings. Just James, 11 food. months in a row. Welcome back, bud. Hope you're having a good one. Gonna hold the flagstones to Valakut Awakening away, potentially. Get to bury it away, too. The best strength of this deck is our opponent, is we don't know what our plan is and our opponents don't either. That's awesome. It's a great line. You can instep Nexus. Yes, yes. It's a fairy cost. Negative one mana here. Pretty good. They're violent in something. Unsettled Mariner. Yeah, he's certainly still still battling. We can snap settle the wreckage. Does cost us one mana to do so. We can also snap Valakid Awakening. Put back the two lands and the Teferi and still have Path and Purge. And you know, can dig for some other things. I kind of like that. Seems see. I, I kind of like being able to try to like use my insane amount of mana instead of just like only using six mana this turn. Get to join, you'll see four new cards. Keep keep going. I could find Nexus again. Just maybe just wishful thinking, but.
Um, I kind of think we need to just path the Risen Reef now before they can violin and get more triggers. We have Purge plus Gust up. Yeah, obviously we didn't, you know, draw as well as we possibly could have, but we're doing okay. Doing okay. We're going to leave the guys back to block and... Yeah, one nice thing about this deck is the more cards you draw, the more times you draw Nexus of Fate. Okay, I'm gonna get that fork. Alright, they're gonna violin a three drop. Let's see what it is. Another Risen Reef. Probably not wise to gust in response, huh? Yeah, not attacking so we can block. Okay. They don't have anything to get back with this, but it does trigger Reef. I'm gonna gust the Reef in response. Not the most impactful Unsettled Mariner I've ever seen. I think our opponent should have plenty of time to win, but they probably should be thinking about it, yeah. They were trying to tap their Fiery Islet to draw a card and realized they could not. Opponent says, wait. <laughs> I'm buying seven canopies for a reason. <laughs> I did see uh, Chief's Grixis list. Looked pretty cool. Mm. And double block or we can block and purge. I think I'm gonna block and purge. I can also just take four, but Do I watch the NFL? I used to be super into like fantasy football and the NFL, but it's kinda of hard to keep up with when I'm as into magic as I am. Alright, we need something. That's something. So we're out of, we don't have another Valakit. If you draw a Cryptic, I'm gonna bounce this Valakit for sure. Yeah, but I used to, I used to be really into, I was like a big Cowboys fan. I, I guess I maybe still in, in theory am. Um, but I haven't, I haven't really watched in years, like three years probably. But I used to just be glued to the, to the TV all Sunday. Yeah, Snap Settle is okay, but it's like maybe just something we should do next turn. Also, if we snap if we snap bolt the reef, they get to just awaken her back. So I guess we just snap gust the reef here. Oh, okay, snap path. Yeah, that's better. They don't have any more basics. We have to pay one. <laughs> They've got something. Cool. We stack the triggers correctly too. They're gonna get a skeletal? Oh no. We might be dead. No, I don't think we're dead. Either. Omnath Locus of the Foil. Damage to any target equals the number of elementals they control, which will be four. Five. Landfall for counter on target elemental. Control eight or more lands, draw a card. Uh oh. They can't tap cavern, but they they, they can cast on that. They can't tap these caverns because they weren't they, they came in after the blood sub, but they can't tap this one. They target me with Omnath. Then they get to put a counter on something. That makes sense. They can get back voice. And then they draw a card too. It's been a crazy game. Really, really good one. 
They get their voice back and they get a token. Is everything coming at me? I feel like they should probably be nugging to fairy. I'm not sure. I think we just go to one. If they can copy this with another Phantasm image, they kill us, but I like don't really see a way we beat that anyways. Let's be a one. We draw Nexus of Fate into like Snapcaster or just or Cryptic Command for Valakid Awakening. Draw Spire Bluff Canal. Awesome. I needed to copy Flamekin to draw with Omnath. Because I don't know where I'm floating. I'm doing this in their upkeep. Do Americans like Putin? I don't know what that is, so I guess not. But I mean, Americans, I'm sure do, because America is like a really uh, big place. I guess they're gonna draw a haste creature, but they have no cards in their hand. And we have like, we're gonna, I'm sure, draw an answer to a haste creature. Maybe I shouldn't say sure. Yeah, we did. Oh, their land also lets them Omnath. That's cool. Also, Neonate. Dead to Phantasm. No, we can we can uh, path in response to image. Although if they if they vile, we need to path Domnath in response. I guess minus eight. It's gonna to fairy plus first. I think it's been an amazing game, dude. Should be able to stabilize at least on this board. I think I make a one one shark. Okay. Bye bye board. So what do we die to? Another now we could we we path should be another Omnath. File on a three drop. That three drop is Skelemental. Yeah, they they need to at least deal like a little bit of damage to Fairy to stop this ultimate. I think all bolts with three spell pierce and a snare. Yeah, I feel like you need creature removal is like really important right now. If you had a top deck cryptic, you were super dead. Uh, I mean, I had, to, I had to find something for sure. Hmm. I'm gonna draw step path this bird so I can't get turn two blood mooned and this way I can cleansing wildfire to get both an island and a plains. Path the parakeet. <laughs> The bird bolted me? What the hell? That's not supposed to happen. That That's backwards. So use Cleansing Wildfire's ability to get basic island, and then use Flagstone's ability to get basic planes. Who needs fetch lands? I like the I like the stomp main phase. I'm not sure if I like the bolt. Wood elves? Oh, so they're they're a Luka deck. I feel like playing Obosh and, and Wood Elves. So Tails is gonna be pretty good, maybe.
<laughs> and Soviet Russia bird bolt you. That's what happened. On top land would be nice, but probably not that necessary. There's a card we put in our deck. <laughs> it's been okay. We're definitely doing better now that it's in the deck, but I, I don't feel like that's because we have the Master of Time, you know? Do they have the Luka? They do have the Luka. I'll just Tails end it. Yeah, I'm trying out one Master of Time. It's well okay. I'm not endorsing it yet, I think. Or not endorsing it. So, so our opponent uh, is an Obosh deck, so they don't play any 2-mana or 4-mana creatures. And so they play a bunch of 3-mana creatures, uh, like Wood Elves, Bone Crusher Giant, um, Seasoned Pyromancer. And so whenever they minus Luka, they only ever target a 3-mana creature. And uh, they can also target Obosh, and then they just put Emrakul into play. And, Ob and Luka can also just plus for card advantage. Um, so he just tries to put an ember cool in the play. I've always really liked this art on Luca. Big fan. So they've got Obosh, Bone Crusher Giant, two mystery cards. That's one of them. <laughs> Name a more iconic duo. Your last card in hand and seasoned pyromancer. Um, I might actually go like Hardcast Typhoon into Double Bolt here. Kind of like that. I think I've missed a few Hardcast Typhoons for the counter. But this is at least one. I think I've missed a couple. This deck Hardcast Typhoon way more than any other deck I've ever played. You feel like Lugas Plus has always put the top three cards of your deck into exile? Oh no, I meant to block. No, it's fine. Read in chat. I didn't. Okay, I must. I must be overestimating myself. So we lose to Fairy to Bolts, but we have another one. Hmm. Amrical isn't even that good against us. Don't think I need to bolt this Bone Crusher Giant because we're just about to make a five-five shark. Five five blocks of four three pretty well. Is it's kind of that's kind of like Tomio the the four mana Tomio the blue green one that you can like plus and name a card. I was playing a lot of standard when uh, she was legal, um, or at least at like the very beginning of her legality, and there was just like I I never saw her hit. I never, I never saw her put the card they named into their hand, and I'm not saying that she was unlikely to do so, I just never saw it happen. It was crazy. I have another stomp. Yeah, definitely good with Uro, for sure. I'm not saying the card's bad, it's definitely a good card, but it's bad against me, maybe, because <laughs> they can't hit with it. Teferi was pretty good the last time we cast it. I'm just going to come with a 4-4 four, four shark here. I will say that we were not doing well. Now we added Teferi Master of Time and we're 3-0. We're about to be up the game. So, you tell me. Yeah, the discard proof aspect of Tommy is also something I've fumbled, you know, a few times. Explosives is probably okay against them. Not sure. How do we slide against them? Needle stops Luca. They don't play Renan Six. Um, and we have so many answers to Luca. I don't think we want it. it also stops Arbor Elf though. It's kind of good. What don't we want? I feel like I usually slide out Cryptic against Blood Moon decks, at least at least against Ponza. And then all of a sudden, like you can just cast most of the spells in your deck. Um. 
I probably want not this many lightning bolts and paths, maybe like two of each. Probably want to cut the Teferi, maybe for the first Pithing Needle. Not sure if I want to sell the wreckage or not. I might. Probably not super into the it against the Luca version. I oftentimes will cut a Snapcaster against Ponza because they have a decent amount of graveyard hate, so we can play the explosives that way. Yeah, I'm kind of into the explosives here. This, this looks like a fine configuration. He's also like a little worse in the draw. For whatever that's you know, maybe a factor in our thought process here. Can needle Arbor Elf. Snap keep. Hmm. It's always the other one, huh? You can also needle Spyro, theoretically. Um, I think I'm just going to needle Luca. Luca the Outcast, some, something Outcast. Okay, only one Luca. They also may have like sighted out Luca against us because we have answers to Emrakul. Needle Blood Moon, I wish we could. Okay, Magus of the Moon is much worse against us than Blood Moon because we're a Lightning Bolt deck, although I did trim on Lightning Bolts. I'll be bringing the third back in. Yeah, you can needle Blood Moon, that's true. Maybe I should, maybe that was the play. Ah, what else? We have a lot of looks at a lightning bolt. We have eight looks before our next turn. No, seven. And we can also just find another awakening. Sorry, gotta Google. Hmm. What could they be Googling here? What are they Googling? Anybody got a guess? Layers? <laughs> Is it about this? Twitch channel? <laughs> it's funny. Six mana? Pillage, I see. Hmm. They floated a lot of mana, so there's two pillages. <laughs> It was a flagstones thing. Feels so bad. We draw a bolt. Uh, we draw a bolt. Um, plus field to feel good. Would you neither? Oh, would you force though? Oop. Hmm. All right. Get to be on the play at least. Yeah, they're probably googling about the flagstones thing. Maybe I want the Abrade too against Magus of the Moon. I think that makes sense. And if they play a fast Magus and you have Lotus Field in your hand, you just play your Lotus Field, kill the Magus, and win the game. Imagine if we had both there and they pillaged our Lotus Field and then we killed their Magus in response. And then our Lotus Field gained Hexproof in response. It would be so cool. This hand's good. This hand's very good against Magus of the Moon. Hey, I was hoping you'd pop in, uh, Kush. GG's. Really close match. Still can't believe I won that game, too. Just, like, barely was able to squeak out of it, and you bricked for so long. Yeah, if my opponent, so my opponent plays Magus, I'm going to let it resolve and then bolt it after I play my Lotus Field. Magus of the Moon. Magus of the Moon. Not Pillage, not Blood Moon. Other acceptable cards are Clothis, Wood Elves. Hell yeah. We are ready this time. 
Though I kind of want to hold up this Purge instead of playing the Blood Sun. Although Blood Sun's kind of nice if they play Fetch Lands. Well, let's just not die to another Moon Effect. Oh, dude, what if they... It's, it could happen. They could pillage my Lotus Field here. This would be amazing. This would be the coolest play I ever make. Dude, I'm, I, I want it to happen so badly. You're supposed to Phantasmal Image Omnath. If you wait, didn't you need? But you couldn't Omnath that turn if you didn't Phantasmal Image the Risen Reef, right? Because you needed the, the image to draw a card. I'm trying to think. Can't remember. Please pillage my Lotus Field. Do it for the stream. Do it for the stream. Damn it. Not even for the stream. If we draw another Lotus Field, we can go to Fairy into Nexus. Kind of want to keep Bloodstone in hand to play around Pillage. I don't think so, because it turns off their fetch lands. Oh no, they have a Needle. So good against us. Do we have outs to Needle? I guess we brought in the Abrade. Cut the Cryptics. They both gonna name Teferi? Can name Shark Typhoon, we just hard cast that. Oh yeah, we have the EE. E is our best draw for sure. What's their name, EE? They did name EE. No, I'm not playing a little Teferi. That's like a little awkward on the mana, honestly. Hmm. I don't want to snap Wildfire them. Yeah, good play by them. So I have one to braid. Also just like have shark typhoons, you know, they're stumbling. Then we have three cards. Whew. Yeah, yeah. This this is tough, but I, I think I think we're ahead. But now now that we've drawn another Teferi, it's you know worse. Then we draw a third one here. I wanna complain. But it might not let me complain, Let's see. You can also draw Master of Time or or just uh Zendikar. Yeah, Awakening just lets us eat these away. Might put away the second purge. I think it's good. Let's try to find a shark. Ooh. Now we can abrade the needle. And play Arts of Fairy. <laughs> oh wait! Where did my Teferi go? Hey, you can tell my mage Thunder can to get an extra ping. Yeah, I feel I feel like the line you like the main thing you should have done, I think, was attack to fairy instead of sending everything at me. Aha! Wooded foothills against Blood Sun. I'm doing well, Lamp. How are you doing today? Who's the mana denial deck now? I've killed two Utopia Sprawls and they can't crack their foothills. Well, I don't really want that Arbor Elf to live. It's a good draw. Awakening is so nice. It's, it's, every time the card <laughs> in the mid to late games, it's just it's just so absurd. Uh, okay, so now we bolt the elf. Yeah, we can't abrade and Teferi here. I'll play the flagstones though. It's been a really interesting match so far.
No, if we cast it to fairy now, we open ourselves up to Blood Moon for like really no reason, I think. They only drew the second one of Foothills, I didn't even think about it. If Tron is three of of a thing or three different things, do we have a word? I mean, playset, I guess. But do we have a fun word for four of a kind? I don't know. If there is one. Oh, I was gonna make a shark end of turn. I mean, they're putting saying GDs, but it would be a six six shark. Third foothills. We won the die roll. Okay, I'm gonna use the restroom. Come back, make you guys bet first. Okay. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Jingatha the Wellspring. Interesting. Easy keep, right? We have two Lotus Fields. Boshin, sub baby, 5 0 in the pot for 5k. Well, thanks, man. And welcome back. Hope you're having a good day today. Keep this. I think we're putting back Stevens. If we want to wildfire our opponent, like if they're if they're actually if they're playing Tron, we probably want to wildfire them on turn two. Then Blood Moon on three, so maybe we put back Lotus Field number two. Now this is the, the, this is like the nuts to wildfire yourself on turn two. Welcome, Spike. And play a Lotus Field on turn three through. after a Blood Sun. Have that mana up. Well, that four months in a row. Appreciate your content, and I appreciate you coming back and saying that, bud. Yeah, so what was the... What's on the line here? Which control deck is best? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the Bant's Ephemerate control, maybe Sultai. I don't think it's four color. Did I misspell prediction? Not popping up. Wait, is this uh, like unkeepable? I mean, this could be like a like a Karn Keenan deck or something. They get Urza's Tower because we're playing against a Tron player who has maybe not kept a very good hand. We have a t we we're going to make more mana than our Tron opponent. Question is, are we going to flood out? In fact, let me get a not a Triumph. That way, we won't flood. But they kept turn one, they kept seven cards? No, they moved to six. Okay, it's fine. So they're probably gonna have turn four Tron. Tails is very good against them, but we're gonna make way more mana than them. Oh man. Yeah, those of you who voted for yes, hope that you're feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> That's cute. What does this do? Urza's Power Plant makes two extra mana if you have all three in play. That seems okay. I prefer Lotus Field, though. <laughs> this actually makes colored mana, so I think it might be better. Yeah, it's, it's kind of nice. You'll, you'll have eight mana over there. I have nine. I have nine mana, uh, Tron opponent. But eight mana is pretty good. Eight man is pretty good. <laughs> this feels so good. Eight man is definitely uh, definitely commendable. It's like a cute amount of mana. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put away this third lotus field. This is like a bit too greedy to keep it, honestly. Seems good, right? Gotta get that counter up. Oh, that's nice. I have a response. Do I even care about Annihilator 4? I don't even think so. I can Tails in that if I want to. I'm 
my minus. My Teferi, probably not though. Yeah. Who cares about Annihilator 4, dude? Not me. You feel like you're on taking this match seriously? I definitely am. I I don't think it I don't think we need to counter Kozilek. I don't think it really does much. Stop from drawing four. What is Kozilek gonna do, you know? And Tails in like stopping like Ulamog trigger, I feel like I'm more interested in. <laughs> Bounce Kozilek. Yeah, I think tap's better than bounce. I don't want them to draw four. <laughs> okay, we definitely had the nuts that game. Feels really good though. Gotta play one of these cards in our sideboard, I guess. Maybe like one path, one bolt, one gust. All of those seem fine. None of them seem that good. Gust pitches to force, hits stirring scrying, bolt hits Karn, and their life total, and path hits worm coil or, or like a resolved Eldrazi. One dispute is three mana mana leak. I think I prefer Gust to dispute. They usually side out worm coil against us. Like pathing Eldrazi is not really where you want to be. But I, th I think I'll play one path. If I had a stipulation to play a Stoneforge deck, would I rather Bant or Blue White? I think right now I'd, I'm preferring Bant. Okay, so Tails and Force of Negation are both quite good in this matchup. We don't have blue mana. Is our opponent Mulliganed? It mulled a six. I think I'm gonna keep this on the draw. Flag another Flagstones is blue mana. In fact, I might play. I, so if we play a Flagstones first, that's better if we draw a second Flagstones. Awakening is better if we draw a. Um, Awakening is better if we draw a wildfire. Not gonna force stirrings. They put an Urza's tower into their hands. Big draw step. Big draw. I cycle Typhoon for zero, end of turn. Our draw is not quite as good this game. <laughs> Hold up the hard cast force. But maybe if, if they like play Karn, maybe I'll Tails End. Since I can snap Tails End next turn. I'll force, uh, I think, any green card here. Yeah, but against Karn, I like I like using Tails in that way we can snap Tails End. Okay, I'm gonna play Flagstones before I play Lotus Field. Got three cards left in their hand. Two cards. Oh, play O Stone. I'll put Jingatha into their hand. It's kind of awkward. We Lotus Field. We can't. Uh, Hold up anything here. Lotus Field be cryptic next turn. I think I'm just gonna hope that they stumble here. I don't really mind so much if the Wellspring enters play. Although maybe I should. Can the only one be a deck tech on the Delver list? Uh, what do I think about? It? Is it charm to discard wraiths? Um, yeah, could definitely we could definitely do a deck tech on it. I think I let, let me give me a second. Um, but we can talk about it for sure. I I don't think that you want to play is it charms. And in, in fact, like my whole thinking was it is that like you like you often just like won't keep a hand that has thunderous wrath in it, and then you can when you London Mulligan just like put one on the bottom. And I, I know that doesn't necessarily feel great, 
But I just found myself, like, just very rarely keeping a hand that had the Thunderous Wrath in it. And then, like, just as soon as I would draw one, then I could start sanctuarying them back. You could also play, like, Vendillion Click to put them on the bottom. Uh, and, oh, but, but also, like, if, if you want to discard Outlet, which maybe you do, we had talked about playing the Royal Scions, which, is, uh, which I think is pretty good in the deck anyways, the Royal Scions. I think I might just like snap awakening away the needle on the canal. Just pass. Could take five more damage. Let me pull up the list. Still want me to not tell you how we did with it, right? Hey Stan, how's it going? Good to hear from you. Yeah, so I think I wanted to go down to two deprive plus one royal scions was like what I would what was I was gonna suggest playing next. I also think you could maybe go cut the fourth mystic sanctuary for like another basic island or a fetch land. I wasn't sure which. Nice. Also nice. It's a fairy and plus. And then we can wildfire their tower and still hold up cryptic and we can just chump lock Jengatha this turn. And you'll figure out how to deal with it at some point. bit more in a Dreadhorde deck. Yeah, I, I, I think the first Scions is good. Uh, I've, I've played Scions in these decks in the past, and I've liked the first copy in the main, and it, it makes like extra sense with Thunderous Wrath being able to discard them. I'm just not very high on Is It Charm in general. Might as well have tutored four cards. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. They're so lucky to have a second tower. <laughs> I think I'm just going to counterbounce. We're talking about, we played a blue-red uh, Sprite Dragon Delver deck uh, last Thursday for Donation Deck Thursday, and uh, there was a pretty cool blue-red Delver deck that that was playing uh, Thunderous Wrath. It's pretty neat. And uh, I think the list was pretty good. It did well with it. Um, just like the changes I would suggest would be cutting the What's up? third me, deprive for main deck royal scions, cutting the fourth sanctuary for either another fetch land or basic island. I think I would suggest another fetch land, um, although I'm not 100% sure. And then, oh, you, I think you could also cut the magmatic sinkhole maybe with like four thunderous wrath. I don't think you need the magmatic sinkhole effect nearly as much as you might otherwise. So I think that that's definitely uh, a card you could cut. Um, and you maybe play the second spell snare in the main is something else you could do. You could play two scions. You could play three deprive, one scions, no sinkhole, something else. Uh, I, I also did not like the blood moon in the sideboard. Um, I feel like blood moon plus archmage's charm seemed like there was a lot of tension there. And I, I would just recommend um, for going that and, and playing like you, you like just play like the fourth Aether Gust and um, I'm not sure exactly what else, but I feel like the fourth Aether Gust would be good. And like, you, I just don't think you need the the Blood Moons in the sideboard, especially especially because like you have a, you have a decent Tron matchup, you have a decent Titan matchup, and then it doesn't help your four color matchup to play Blood Moon if you're turning off your Archimage's Charm. So I don't think you should play Blood Moon in the this deck. Simon so gifting us up to Stanislav. Uh, you could also maybe play the third relic. Although it's possible surgical is more important if you're trying to beat oops all spells. Maybe you should be. Yeah, I'm gonna counter this. I don't want my opponent to resolve a Titan. How funny would it be though if my opponent co-select into this Narset?
Yeah, I just didn't really feel like he needed the sinkhole. So I've been, uh, we just, we haven't really played too much with it. We just keep getting flooded, so I, I wanted a little more insulation against Mana Flood. And I've played, I've played this card in other decks, and it certainly felt fine. But, like, it really hasn't been... Like, I feel like every game we've cast a fairy, we were definitely winning anyways, like this one. Like, we're about to ultimate. And we're about to 5 0. Very exciting. Hunter, if you have any more questions, let me know. I'm definitely down to keep talking to you about it. Guess I'll hold the Valakid Awakening for this Teferi. Yeah, people keep saying one mana Cryptic Command Veil of Summer like it's a bad thing. Or like it's sort of like it's a good thing, but it's really it's really bad because you get a smaller shark. It's a fairy ultimate. They're gonna let me keep casting cards. <laughs> five oh baby, five oh. Ice Man went all in, twenty K or at least twenty K in. Yes, trophy 22. Feels good. Considering Dreadhorde. Yeah, Dreadhorde's like maybe something you can play.